Ba -na 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 -na. Hey, welcome to Stomp the Idiot. This is uh, mostly to promote ProWrestling.me, but also want to answer this question. And I figured I'd just do a video format and hopefully get more content here promoting ProWrestling.me, getting more active, trying to get the community on YouTube to embrace that. Because what, what I did with ProWrestling.me here is I basically took my YouTube money and I was like, I don't need money. I wear sweatpants for a living. And I took my YouTube money and put it into this website. So hopefully we can make it a community, help other podcasters, because I don't know how much longer I'll be doing this for. And um, I figured, you know, way to do it is just do a YouTube video, a Stump the Idiot. So this is from Sean P. Suburbs. That would be the badass ass rap name ever. Rockin' the Suburbs! And he asks, why do you like pro wrestling? And he goes into more detail. What got you into pro wrestling and what are the things in pro wrestling that keeps you watching? All right. Um, how did I get into pro wrestling? I just I grew up in New Jersey like I don't know maybe only poor people from New Jersey or maybe everyone from New Jersey yeah baseball football basketball pro wrestling hockey like it was just considered a sport we just watched it we enjoyed it I mean you would get that one or two people that came on like <laughs> you know it's not real right be like fuck you Uncle Tommy it is real um but now I just grew up I I do not remember what my first wrestling match was. I don't remember what the first event I've seen. I know I've seen every WrestleMania. Um, I know that my, half of my family bought all the WWE pay-per-views and went to their house. And the other half of my family bought all the WCW pay-per-views and went to their house. Um, I know if there was an indie event in New Jersey, somewhat of my you know, bastardized family would probably have been there. Um, so yeah, what got me into pro wrestling? It's just, I grew up in New Jersey and I don't know, like in my neighborhood, there was no one that didn't watch it. They were just like, yeah, we watched the Yankees. We watched the Devils. We watched the Nets. We watched the Knicks, Jets, Flyers, whatever, the local teams, the Philadelphia, New York, New Jersey teams. And we watched pro wrestling. Um, I, I did, I was a little bit of oddball cause I was more of a WCW guy. Um, in New Jersey, it was WWE country, and I was a Ric Flair Full Horseman kid. So what got you into pro wrestling? I was just born in fucking New Jersey. White trash represent! And, <laughs> um, and what things keep you watching pro wrestling? I don't know. Lately, it's been a bit of a grind, especially WWE, TNA, especially American products. Um, I, I probably, most people give up watching wrestling around... High school, college. That's when most people give up watching pro wrestling. But for me, I was really lucky and ECW came out then. And um, I, I believe this. If it wasn't for ECW and me joining the Marines, I probably wouldn't be a wrestling fan. Um, yeah, I grew up in New Jersey. Everyone was a fucking uh, a wrestling fan. I went to the Marine Corps. Everyone was a wrestling fan. It was a fun time back then because I went as in the Marine Corps from 96 to 2001 and yeah, ECW, Marines, like, we'd just be sitting there. It's all we'd talk about. Like, it's so funny, people are like, oh, my God, you don't fucking do this? Blah, 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 do something important. I was like, when I was on fucking front lines playing G.I. Joe and fucking, yo, 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 thank you, fucking President Clinton. We're just doing our best, just doing our duty. If I go, that's what we talked about. Or, a matter of fact, my machine gun team, fucking, uh, my, oh, my, just, uh, my team it all was always four horsemen. Like, we'd, there was four of us, and we'd fucking give each other nicknames. And then we'd talk on it. Be like, Nature Boy, this is fucking, this is the enforcer. Uh, this is the total package. But it was funny, because we bought, we bought a WCW, uh, WCW four guys set. And it was the weirdest four guys ever. And that's what nicknames we went. Um, there was Nature Boy, <laughs> there was Nature Boy, total package. Fucking who else was there? Stinger. And there was another one. Oh, Dogface Gremlin, I think. Yeah, it was Rick Steiner. Dogface Gremlin. That's what we went by. So, like, you know, everyone would have, like, legit nicknames or doing legit business. And it'd be like, hey, Stinger, you got the latest WCW tape? Because, you know, people had to mail in Nitro and Raw and ECW. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's what probably kept me going. Uh, you know, and got me going. But if I think if it wasn't for ECW, though, in high school, I probably would have quit watching pro wrestling. And nowadays, it's been a grind. You know, during the John Cena thing, it was like, oh, well, hey, you know, it's almost going to end. You know, I hated John Cena from day one, uh, Dave Batista, Randy Orton. I was like, oh, dude, it's a grind, but it's going to end. And when it ends, it will be good. 
But when I see stuff like Roman Reigns and the way they book it, it's a real grind. And um, I, I guess what keeps me going is th these are the things that keep me going, especially during hard times. There's New Japan. There's Lucha Underground. I think Lucha Underground's absolutely amazing. I think New Japan's absolutely amazing. I do watch a lot of Dragon Gate, even though I don't talk about it online. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to open that gate up. And um, yeah, so I think that's what that's what keeps me going. And NXT, there's always a little bit of hope, but it, but it is it is it is at times a bit of a grind. I think like if I didn't do this podcast, I don't know if I'd still be a wrestling fan, or probably not as hardcore of a wrestling fan. But it can be a grind. I would suggest go out there and watch alternatives. And don't just stop with one. You know, just watch as many alternatives as you can. And enjoy it, you know. Um, seeing a wrestler like AJ Styles, CM Punk. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, uh, Ibushi, um, o Omega, Kenny Omega. Seeing these guys wrestle in front of like 10 people. And then seeing them at WrestleMania and Wrestle Kingdom. Uh, that's what keeps me going too. It's a little bit motivating. It's great to see someone, you know, even Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal, like a lot of these wrestlers that are main eventers now. When I first got out of university and promoted uh, shows, these guys were small stars, and it, and it was funny because I remember people going, "Oh, AJ will never make it. CM Punk will never make it. Samoa Joe will never make it." And now they're all main eventers, so that keeps me going. That gives me hope. And, you know, and not only that, but I remember I used to do New Japan t live tweets. I used to do New Japan um, uh, podcasts. And do not a soul watch that shit. Now they're super fans. I hope the super fans don't ruin it. I don't want New Japan fans to become like TNA fans. But I'm glad that, you know, if I tweet something out and be like, oh, fucking, I'm rooting for Okada, there's other people talking about it in English. So, and hopefully it keeps growing. And not only that, but, you know, even if Monday Night Raw sucks, even if Fast, you know, well, Fast Lane's the next pay-per-view, I, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, but um, even if the next WWE pay-per-view sucks and all that, and if TNA sucks, it, you still got a lot of options with the online internet. I mean, there's so many pro wrestling companies I haven't even seen yet, so that's what keeps me going. But yeah, what keeps me going is just great alternatives seeing guys that should have never made it get to the big stage. And, um, and not that, but I've been a sports fan. Uh, you know, um, I think sport fans last longer more than entertainment fans. I always say, like, are you an entertainment fan or a sports fan when you come to pro wrestling? And when you say, hey, you don't like it, just don't watch, I just picture you never having passion for a sports team. Like, no, you fucking watch. You watch your Devil Rays in their last place. You watch when the Rays could be close. You watch the Buccaneers, the Lightning, the Devils, whatever your team is. You know, and it, it makes me sad. that. Um, but yeah, but at the same time, it is a fucking grind. It is a grind sometimes. Especially, especially some of the American products. But hopefully that changes. Hopefully that changes. And hopefully there will always be a company out there that whatever you do enjoy inspires you. I know I bust TNA's balls a lot. I bust WWE's balls a lot. But if they like you, if they li if you like that, then I'm glad there's a product out there for everyone. And especially with New Japan World, WWE Network, it's just amazing. It's a great time to be a pro wrestling fan. Hopefully one day the big boys will catch up to everyone else and the world will see how... Because I, I believe this. I believe this in the bottom part. Pro wrestling done right is the best entertainment in the world. Pro wrestling done horribly is a fucking grind. It is a grind. But sometimes you have to grind through the John Cena years. You have to grind through WWE's booking. You have to grind through a Dixie Carter. You just have to grind through it and hope that, hey, when that moment comes, you're like, wow, see, this is why it's the best entertainment in the world. Like, comment, subscribe, and above all, check out ProWrestling.me. With that... I am over. Bum, bum, bum.